Hi, I'm Saxon from Wild Oak Trail. We just finished unboxing the EcoFlow itself, or the EcoFlow Pro, and now we just finished unboxing the additional battery. I'm gonna show you guys how to plug in your EcoFlow Pro with the AC adapter that came with it, and then also how to hook up the additional battery so that you can charge that as well. So what we're gonna end up doing, you can see uh, right here that we are fully charged and that if we left this inverter on, that it would last for 10 days. So all we do is, if you want to turn it off, you just click on this and it turns off. So when you go like this to turn it back on, we jump up right to 100. This is how we turn on these USB ports. And when we click on this, this is how we activate the AC uh, 110 and also the 30 amp as well. So for now, I'm just going to turn that off. I'm going to turn this around for you guys. This is where our charging port is. So we just lift this up. This is where your solar is as well. So you can actually see it here. It lets you know that you got your solar, your car. Those are the adapters that came uh, with it. And then you also have your AC charging speed. And then we also have our regular charging here. Okay, so we're now going to plug in our AC charger to here. Plug it into the wall. You're gonna hear some fans kick on. Now what's really cool about the additional battery, there is no plugs in the front. I'll show you right here. We have just one little button for the power and it is, uh, it does show that there's a charge and that's just because of the fact that we do have 29%. Now, this actually contains the cord that you need. So what we end up doing is we take this out, pop up the back. You can see there's like a little clip here. You want the smaller part at the bottom, the bigger at the top, or the clip at the top. And you kind of hear a nice little click. Now you're gonna notice there are two flaps here. That's because you can actually hook up two batteries. The fan's just turned off because this is fully charged. But once we now connect this, you should see this now. Turn it on. Just, there we go. I think I heard it turn on. Just need to give it a second. And now you can see that it's bringing in 1,356 watts for the input to start charging it. The other part as well, see it says up here, very helpful, it says the charging time. It's going to take two hours. Now, if you want to come just around over here, you're going to see, I'll make it easier for my wife so she can see this. It says slow or fast. We have it on fast right now. We can actually control how fast or slow that we want. So as you saw, we had 1300 watts. Uh, if you were in your car or truck, your inverter wouldn't be able to pull out 1300 watts. So you go to slow, and now you're gonna see this drop down to 350, just under 400. So this way here, a car inverter will be able to charge this as well. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to chat with us at wildoaktrail.com and thank you for stopping by.